So we couldn't get the throttle to respond right. It was going, it was like varying just 30 degrees and we ended up finding out that for whatever reason, we pressed in one of these pins wrong. So when we pressed this in, it pushed one of the pins down and it just wasn't getting a connection. We tried clearing the code and it just kept saying there was something wrong with it. So that could be it if you guys have that issue. Um, we ended up doing that. Everything put back together. I'm working on the intake side here. Uh, we've got a four inch pipe got four little barbs that we're going to put in for the vacuum lines or the what are these freaking called again they're not breathers yeah no what are is that all of these pcv yeah and then matt's over there working on the exhaust we just had to get a new wheel i think that's it oh he also welded this welded uh the blow off out today so that's all routed. We found out that we had a minor leak and that was because I forgot to tighten this thing down here. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. That little silver thing right there. So it wasn't tightened down all the way and it was squirting fuel everywhere, but that's sealed up now. So here are the little fittings we put on there. We basically just drilled these out and got some rubber grommets and then we're gonna use these little barbed fittings for all the PCV lines and just plug them into here. And I think that's all we got left aside from the exhaust and obviously putting the hood back on. So it's just our down pipe down to the stock exhaust because they was old and what? like stock <laughs> exhaust. But basically we had to reduce it down. And then we got our downstream O2 sensor here. Then this is our wide band. And then we have our other O2 sensor downstream O2 sensor down here. And still have this cat. Um, the car has some other aftermarket muffler and a resonator delete. We can walk it over here real quick. So, it'll probably sound a little louder in stock, but it should sound good. Um, let's see here. So, we just uh, heat wrapped it, because it's really close to the ABS lines. The way I kind of kink the lines, they're, they're way too tight up there. So, we figured we better heat, it, heat wrap it just in case. Got our dump tube for the wastegate and our downpipe. update I had to cut the bumper basically everything normally they come with a mesh grill here and it's still really tight so if you can see here it's still pushing up against and it's not seated all the way I think we can probably push it in enough to where it'll look fine if not we're just gonna have to cut more unfortunately out here to get this to fit uh, the last things we need to do are this the white band and the uh, boost sensor so we can figure out how much boost we're getting and the uh, air to fuel ratio. So real quick here with the wiring. So they're not color coded. There are these same colors in here, but those are gonna be probably your power and your ground. So on here, make sure you guys read the instructions if you do end up getting this one. 
it, it'll tell you right here. So you've got the green, where are we? Uh, so it says boost. You've got the green or red, black, and green. And the boost sensor goes the yellow for positive. So the five volt supply, you've got the brown for ground and the orange for the boost input. So make sure you wire it that way. You always look at these because these are not color coded. So let me wire that up real quick and we'll show you what the screen looks like with the wide band and the boost gauge. Hey, welcome back guys. We are headed, it's dino day today. We have, uh, since I think this will be our last video for the turbo build anyways. And we have changed quite a few things, so we'll go over that. But we're gonna go dino it today. Um, so, what do you think it'll make? Um, I'm thinking, my guess is 280. So, but that's what I'm thinking too, is 280. I'd like to be optimistic and say 300. Yeah, that's pretty optimistic. Yeah, I know. So we're running roughly seven and a half pounds or so. Um, that's, that was, that seems to be pretty consistent. Make 3,000 horsepower. <laughs> <laughs>
seven. Oh, 289 foot pounds of torque. Holy crap. There we go. There we go. That's <laughs> what I was looking for. 300. 300. That's what I said, dude. <laughs> I wonder how much boost we got there. We'll have to check the, yeah. the gauge and it see where it. Yeah. It'll, yeah, it'll yeah. The max, as long as he doesn't turn it off. Going again. Still running. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 